If you've ever had any trouble with an application force closing, maybe you can't connect your Galaxy S7 to another Bluetooth device, you may want to consider wiping the cache partition as a troubleshooting step. To do this, as you can see, we need to get into the stock recovery mode. If you're unsure of how to do this, take a look at the suggested card at the top right as it links to the tutorial I have previously written about this. Now, once you are in recovery mode, you want to press the volume down button until you highlight the wipe cache partition option. Once that is highlighted, you want to press the power button and then it will take you to a confirmation asking if you really want to wipe the cache partition. There's no need to worry about this wiping any important data off of your Galaxy S7 as it will all be rebuilt once you boot back up into Android. So just go ahead and highlight the yes option and then press the power button and then if you look toward the bottom you will see it says wiping cache partition and then it was completed. Once that's done, you'll see the reboot system now option is automatically highlighted. So you just need to press the power button to reboot the Galaxy S7. We will verify the DM verify hash tree. and then it will reboot your Galaxy S7. And as I mentioned, this will not wipe any of your important data, like contacts, applications, settings. This is just wiping redundant data that helps to speed up your device. As you can see, None of my data has been has been wiped.